This here's Clay. And this is Jim Bob. And we are the Whiskey Drinkers. That's right. But not today. That's today, right. we're the Brandy Drinkers. That's fucking right. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So, I got a uh, message from the, uh, the hell was that video? The uh, e &J Apple Brandy video we did. And the guy said that uh, another good one to try is Christian Brothers Brandy. Now, that guy was, uh, his name, or at least his handle on the YouTube there is uh, B.A. Lincoln. Oh, yeah. Then we're just going to give you a little shout out and say thank you for uh, giving us an idea here to try this. Is that Badass Lincoln? Probably. Might be related to Badass Rackus from, uh, from uh, uh, 18. Well, I was thinking like Badass Lincoln, Badass Obama, Badass fucking uh, Reagan. Yeah. Badass Clinton. I don't fucking <laughs> maybe, know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Badass president. Yeah, whatever. But he's a badass guy for putting that badass comment and letting us know about right. that badass. Now, we're not going to do super slow motion. We're just going to do the regular slow motion because we already told you what the name of it is. So here we go. Yeah. Slow motion. <laughs> There you go, Christian Brothers Ooh. Apple Brandy. Oh man. Now I do like the bottom of it. That is real nice. It reminds me of almost a wine type of thing going on with it. Well, brandy happens to be a type of wine. A type of wine. Wow. It's, uh, wine that has been it's like a secondary fermentation. Yeah. So it's wine with a higher alcohol percentage. Damn. And I think it's like mixed with something, dude. I hell I don't know. Damn, I mean, I, I, we're not doing this because we're smart, we're doing it because we like to drink. Yeah, I mean, I like to get drunk and stuff, but it's cool learning along the way. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's what it says on the back. The Christian Brothers, Christian Brothers Apple is the ultimate in smoothness made with natural apple flavors and Christian Brothers brandy, which is distilled from premium grape varieties and matured in hand-selected oak barrels. Enjoy straight on the rocks or with our favorite, or with your favorite mixer at christianbrothersbrandy.com. Uh, Louis likes them oak barrels. He got all excited whenever. Oh. Well, this is 750 milliliter right here. And this shit here is 35% alcohol by volume. That makes it 70 proof. Now, the Christian Brothers have been around since 1882. Damn, that's a long time. So they've been in the business a while. Oh, oh, I thought they had some cool design on the inside of this, but they don't. But it's cool. Yeah, well, I was just seeing the... Yeah, I just saw it. You know how St. Ives has the little line and yeah. well, shows you how drunk you are. Let's get this shit over here. Yeah, it looks like it's all complex and shit to open it, too. Oh, no. There's a little. No, oh, man. Look, there's a little tab right there. See? See that little tab right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, got some olive oil. It's just like that. Twist it off just like that. Bam! Wow, that's easy as hell. Wow! And there's a little screw top. Got a little, uh... Let's uh, crack it over here. Shh. Get check the quality of the seal. Oh, yeah. Make sure it's sealed up. Oh, okay. Man, oh yeah, it yeah. Pops off that's, that's good. Pretty legit there. Oh damn. Okay, off the bat, it smells. I don't say it till you smell it. it smells good. Apple Jolly Rancher. Oh yeah, that's what yeah, I get yeah. Right off the bat. I didn't think of that right off the bat. But yeah, fuck oh, yeah. Or a real good uh, one of them. Uh, you know, like Fuji apples or whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mother's like, grandma, old here. grandma's something. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It is pretty. Oh man. This is gonna be pretty good. I hope it doesn't give me the shits. It doesn't matter if you have DB in it or not, you can smell that. I mean it's man, it has a good apple smell. Oh, I just poured a whole bunch. Well now the question is, will this give Jim Bob the shits? We're about to see. Well it doesn't smell like a green apple. No really, it, it just smells like a red like, apple. It smells like a I don't, I don't eat apples. I smell like that candy apple. It does, yeah. It smells like, uh, it reminds me of apple cider too, which gives me yeah, the shit. Yeah, apple cider. Or green Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it does smell like that green Jolly Rancher. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh, wait, there's there's a film there. Oh, we got a little film. We definitely got some film. It's been a while since we've seen a film. Yeah, we got film. Oh, pretty legit so it film. that one passes the film test. Yep, that's a good thing. All right. You know. All right, cheers. Holy shit! Whoo! That was a big shot. I didn't even drink all mine yet. God damn! Hmm. Well, that bites you right in the ass. It's got a bite to it. <clears throat> Whoo! What was I just even talking about? 
I don't know. What is happening? We're talking about the film test. Whew. I could have swear I was sitting here for like a half hour talking about me having the shits and stuff. Thank <laughs> God I wasn't saying that. Man. Um, that stuff's pretty hardcore. Right off the top. Putting it in your mouth. That shit. It has a little kerosene kind of thing going on. But, uh, you know. It's definitely got some bite to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. the beginning it's got of it. bite than I expected. But that end of it, that's where it starts to come together, and that's where you start to get them beautiful apple flavors, like you bit into an apple or a Jolly Rancher. Um, I think as a mixer, this would be good. It's just, it's just grabbing it and drinking Damn. it. Damn. Ooh. I know. I, it's not bad. I mean, it's good, but it's... Just the bite's a little hard to be just sitting there and drinking it. Yeah. But... We get through half of this bottle, it might be a little better. Yeah, you're I, not going to notice the bottle anymore. Man, we just happened to grab the biggest shot glasses we own. It seems like the apple flavor, if you take like a little sip, it hits you right away and then it disappears real quick. Oh. So it doesn't seem like there's a long lasting apple flavor. Yeah. Because that kerosene flavor kind of takes it away. Yeah. It's like, hey, here's some apple. Duh, fuck you, you're not getting that apple. Man. Um, yeah, if you're going to mix it with something, I think it's a good mixer. See, I'm not, that's, I, I must say up front, I don't know if I'm a brandy fan. You know? Well. Because I hate to give this thing a low rating, maybe, because I'm not a huge fan of brandy. Well. Huh. See, it's been a while since we drank the E&J, so it's hard to compare it. Well, did you buy the E&J just randomly? Yeah, just okay. randomly. So it might not be the best, you know. This, yeah. Well, this is obviously a lot better because um, Lincoln, badass Lincoln, told us. Well, he just recommended we try. It, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's probably a real good one. Oh hell yeah! Let's just try the apple brandy, the E and J right now. All right. Let's see what the difference is. You sure you don't want to do two videos? No, I just want to do it now. ten times the amount of money. I just want to do it right now. Wow, he loves you guys, and so do I. There we go. I'll squash that. Well, I already, I still got mine. Well, you better drink it up. I'll wait for you. <laughs> God damn. Don't pour so much this time. Oh. Now off the bat, this has a lot weaker smell to it. Pour a little bit. Than the oh. uh, than the Christian brothers. It's not yeah. near as potent as a smell. The, the apple smell and the alcohol smell. Now, what is the percentage on here? Uh 60 proof and this was 70 proof so that explains why that has a little more care that does this better be pretty strong you ready too. yep it's not even a question oh i say the e&j is definitely the better of the two i want to kill myself right now <laughs> I think the E&J is the better of the two. What do you think? Well, what's the E&J? This stuff? The second one. I don't agree with you. Really? Now, yeah, because um, the apple flavor is not as good as this. I think uh, Badass or Lincoln. Brat. B.A. Lincoln. Brat-headed Abraham Lincoln. What is it? I don't fucking know. But B.A. knows what he's talking about. Because I'm telling you, the apple shines in this one a hell of a lot more than it does in that one. I agree. I different, agree they're that. different, though. They're a lot different. I agree. I'm going to say, though, that this one has a smoother, almost like an aged flavoring to it, where this seems like it's more um, like, like a Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it's more of like a, I don't want to say a gimmicky, but like a, you know, let's throw a whole bunch of flavoring in it and cover up the kerosene. Well, if I had to guess, I would have to say this one's more expensive than this one. Am I correct? I don't remember. I think you're about the same. Well... Well, then fuck you. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> They're all good. All right. Well, but, no, yeah. I prefer the E&J. Jim, but we do have to judge this. We have to give our uh, bottles. Yeah. Just for this one. this one. And then we'll come uh, back to that. I want to say, uh, I'm going to give it a three because I do like it. Um, I, I think it has, uh, the smell alone is great. Um, it, I think it could be a little smoother. I think that, uh. I don't know. I just think it needs a little more refining. It's in my personal opinion. Like I said, the other stuff just seemed like it had a little bit smoother, a little bit more of an aged, yeah, like purity to it. Where this, you, know, you can tell there's kerosene. In it. Maybe they need to get you to come down there, do a little bit of your refining to it. 
Maybe, right. maybe. I need to get on our show how to make their shit. Well, I'm going to say straight off the bat, I shouldn't be judging anything because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, there's that option too. But um, this stuff, I mean, don't hate me for this. Sorry, B.A., but uh, this stuff, we have to give it a two. Wow. Just not wow. a, not a fan. You give it higher than that. I, if I never drank this ever again, I wouldn't mind. You know, not a bad thing. It's I don't think it's bad. I can do a shot of it, but it's not something I'm going to go to on okay. the regular. Well, I, I might not be a fan of brandy. You know, I, don't I expected know. you to like it more than that. It's really. all right. It's all right. Huh. I give it the I right stamp of approval. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a three. But it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. All right. Well, there you go. Oh, and then compared to these, you picked that one. Yeah. I picked I, this one. I picked that one. I picked this one because it's. I don't know why. I see. I'm not <laughs> liking this more. When we first drank it. Well, I'm, I'm compare, it's not bad. I'm comparing it to this, though. Because I feel like that has a different kind of bite to it. It has a different kind of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And it, just between these two, I'd pick this one on the bite and flavor. It's interesting. Harder bite, better flavor, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, it's got a harder bite, but it's got more apple. Yeah. This yeah, one yeah. has less bite, but more smoothness. And what you said about this is, you know, all that apple flavor trying to cover up, cover up the kerosene yeah. flavor. I completely agree with you. So, yeah. Well, all right. Well, there you go. There's the battle of the apple brandies. I don't know if we helped you or not. I mean, who knows? I guess it really just boils down to your own life. Perfeated taste. Exactly. Preferred taste. One of them. Perfeated also. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, just drink a whole bunch, and you won't be able to taste anything. And you'll love everything you're drinking about the, you know, about this part now. Yeah. Well, there you go. Battle of the apple brandies, Christian Brothers, right here. Enj, right here. Shout out to B. A. Lincoln. For writing that comment and steering us in the direction of something pretty damn good. There you go. All right. See you later. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. All right. Hey, guys. Make sure you guys go and check out the Patreon channel. That's right. Because over there is some shit that you're not going to be able to see on a regular channel. You know, we got some like behind the scenes and just crazy shit. Interesting stories about the videos themselves. So make sure you check that shit out. Hey, what, what do they need to do? Well, they make, make sure you need to uh, like the videos. Yeah. You need to comment on the videos. Yeah. And you, uh, what's that last one? Uh, subscribe to the channel. Oh, That's yeah. It. All right. Well, All we'll right. see you later. All right.